hello my lovely friends thank you all for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel may jehovah god bless you all abundantly in today's video i'm going to walk you through how to make a clean installation of windows 10 operating system but before we proceed we need to download the windows 10 iso file and create a bootable usb media let's download the official windows 10 iso file from microsoft website you can please follow my googling procedure to download it After download is completed, run the application. Wait for some time. Scroll down and read the line systems and agreements. Accept to proceed. Now to download Windows 10 ISO file. Select Create Installation Media for another computer and click Next. Select the language of your choice. Select the edition as Windows 10. Choose the architecture based on the conditions of your computer CPU. An older computer manufactured around 2012 to 2014. I would suggest a 32-bit ISO, whilst computers manufactured from 2015 to date can run a 64-bit without issues. If you are not sure, please choose both. Tick use the recommended option for this PC if you run the Windows installation on the PC you are currently using. After click Next. Here you can choose USB flash drive, but I will recommend you choose ISOFAR instead so that you can get a permanent copy of this Windows installation media on your computer and create a Windows bootable USB flash drive anytime you wish. Choose a destination of your choice. I normally use the desktop. Also rename the file to any name of your choice. Click save, wait for the file to download. How long this download will take depends on the speed of your internet. After the download is completed, we need to create a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. I have Rofox software in the link of the description of this video for you to download and create it yourself. After the download is completed. Please insert your USB drive. It should be 4GB and above depending on the size of the Windows image file. Run the application. But before you proceed, please read about the two media booting system of computers. This will help you to know the booting system to create for your computer. Device is your USB drive and if inserted, the name of the drive will appear. Click select to choose your Windows image file.
for partition scheme, let's select MBRO for BIOS or JPT for UEFI. Leave everything the way it is and click start. Yes, if you are ready to format your drive, please note that format will erase everything on your drive. So please back up your information before you proceed if you have not. The creating process will take some time, so please wait. Now the USB drive is successfully created and ready to be used. Press the power button to turn the computer on. Start tapping on your computer's manufacturer's BIOS menu key to enter into the BIOS settings. The BIOS menu interface may differ from one manufacturer to the other, but there will be some few similarities. Choose the boot order as Legacy or UEFI, depending on the partition scheme you chose for Rufox. After, save the settings and exit. The computer will restart. Start tapping on your computer manufacturer's boot menu key to display the boot menu screen. Please check if you can find your computer manufacturer's boot menu key here. If not, please check the description below for more. Choose your USB flash drive. Mine is Toshiba and press enter. The Windows 10 installation process will start to its main page. Choose your preferred language and time format and click next. Click install now. Here, if you have a genuine product key, you can enter it. But if not, you can select I don't have a product key. Choose any of your Windows preferred edition and click next. Accept the license agreement and click next. If you wish to install another Windows on the same drive that contains an already existing Windows, then you can click Upgrade, but if not, then select Custom to install a fresh copy of Windows. My drive is completely empty, so I will click New to automatically partition the drive, then Next to start installing Windows. This will take several minutes. Wait for the process to complete and to restart your PC. Wait for a few more minutes to get your computer ready to be configured. the keyboard along the way and if you'd like me to stay quiet just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen if you need an assistive screen reader press the windows control and enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator okay enough intro let's dig in
Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? You also type with another keyboard layout? Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Here, if you wish to upgrade instantly, then you can connect your Wi-Fi or share hotspots. You can do this upgrade later in Windows settings. Type what you want to name your account. Here, type the name of the user and click Next. Okay, now type a password for your account. Here, you can also type a password if you wish. Leave the password space blank if you don't want any password, then click Next. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Finally, the Windows installation is completed. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video.